Here, your pre show navigator is May 5th, El Cinco de Mayo, 2020, Tuesday. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. Hello to Mike TV Live, who uh, you just hit us at the right time with that great raid. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, everybody. We're gonna do Night Attack here in just a little bit, but we gotta do a pre show. We gotta warm up. Frankly, if you ask me, we was simply, we will simply. Warm up. Really warm up and have a free show. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, 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 everybody. It was also, uh, 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 we, I, we talked about it briefly on the Night Attack Happy Hour, now available on the Night Attack podcast and YouTube channels. Uh, that also ended up being Taco Tuesday. Anybody have any good tacos? I, mean, I went and had torchies. I had not had torchies, I think, since, since the coronavirus stuff began. But in any case, uh, I got I got I got some tacos. I had my normal, my trashy trailer park, where they take a it's like a it's like a chicken finger. I think it looks like a chicken finger basically. Uh, and then they add queso and 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 then some, some shredded cheese. Uh, and then I had a chicken fajita taco. I had some chicken and uh, it has some vegetables and stuff in it. So. That was, uh, that was me. What did you guys have? Thermos Jack says that they got hella tacos. Okay. E-Fiper had Suvlaki. I don't remember asking if it was Suvlaki Tuesday. Frankly. Uh, the chicken fajita was alright. Uh, usually, it, usually it's okay. This time it was alright. Hello, everybody. I also want to, uh, uh, very briefly just get some, get some of this out of the way. Apparently it is uh two of you it, is it two of you jackals' birthday today? Whose birthday is it? Someone tell me who would. I think I think it's Nick with the C and Neil Fleisch. Is that correct? It, I missed it. I know someone someone is someone's birthday today. Okay, you're good, thank you. Uh it is I know that it is someone's birthday today. To the point where uh they okay, if <laughs> I asked about Taco Tuesday. If you're telling, if you're telling me shit, that's not tacos. Uh, we yeah, there, there, are, there. Are, uh, they, someone did send me a Discord message. Someone sent me a. Th someone sent me a Discord message. Okay, it's not Neil. All right, sorry Neil. I'm sorry for pre-aging you. Um, someone sent me a, 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 a Discord message, and then when I tried to look, I didn't respond to it because I thought there's absolutely no way I'm going to respond to this. That is not what's going to happen here. Um, but, uh, 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 apparently it is, uh, but then I saw some of you folks in the pre, in the pre, pre show, and now no one's, now no one's copping to it. No one is copping to it. All right. All right. Yeah. spider Bite says it's Chris Brown's birthday. So unless one of you, unless one of you, one of the, uh, uh, two plus people come up and say it, then, uh, sorry, it's your, you've given up, you've surrendered your birthday to Chris Brown. And I don't make the rules. I actually don't make the rules, uh, but I do enforce them very stringently. So that's uh, that's what we're doing here. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 
What else is going on today? We had I've been here all I've been here all day. <laughs> I was here all day. We did the uh, bizarre briefing earlier here on uh, Twitch. We did that at around one o'clock. There's a vod there, and it'll be on the podcast whenever. It'll be on the podcast directory. Go check out the bizarre briefing on uh, uh, on Marble. Uh, you guys distracted me with the y'all marbles is its own thing marbles is its own thing so don't come asking me about marbles when it's not marbles time we'll do we do marbles on its own thing fools now you're distracting me and frankly you're distracting me fls carnage says my birthday is next tuesday does that count no in fact that is the most not counting for this week right now <laughs> so it asked me they asked specifically that i give birthday shout outs and I don't know, and, and I don't know who even sent it. And it, I can't even see it anymore. Maybe they deleted the message. <sighs> oh well. And I know they were in the, okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go back on this, I'm not gonna buy this. I'm not gonna go back on this. Uh, but yeah, so we were, we were doing the Bizarre Briefing at one, and then I was here helping Bonnie with something at noon. Uh, she's doing, she's doing her, she's doing her own thing. She, uh, is doing her own thing. Uh, so they were doing that and then join in for the happy hour. Uh, if you guys somehow don't know for some reason, uh, it would be very difficult to, I think, not know. Um, but, um, uh, the guys have been doing, I think they've been on week three or week almost, maybe almost week four. I actually don't know. I guess I could... I guess it would be very easy for me to find out, but I feel like I refuse to do so. And uh, uh, so they've been doing that for a few weeks, Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Eastern for an hour. Uh, or at least they get off at, they, they they conclude the stream at 5, then an hour at the next hour. And it's cool. It's nice. Uh, it's, it's chill. It's chill. It's super chill. And yeah, I was on... Is on this week, uh, on today, and then I believe, I believe that's, 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 that's why I guess it works out. I think uh, 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 Jacob, the sound guy from the Ice Cream Social podcast, will be uh, will be joining the guys tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. That's going out on the podcast feed, going out on Patreon. Soup's free. Uh, you know, go and listen to the guy. Listen to us. You know. People, people, you want something in your ears? We're giving it there. What else is going on? Uh, let's see. Yesterday, we did the normal shows. We did the shows. Those are fine. Uh, I don't know what else is going on. I don't know what else is going on. Uh, still waiting on those birthdays. Still don't know who even it is. And I'm not kidding. If, uh, if no one comes forward, then sorry. Chris Brown. Sorry. In fact, not just this week, any week. If someone, if so, if I am told that there are birthdays and no one comes to claim them, it goes to Chris Brown. And I don't, I don't make the, I don't act, I actually don't make the rules. You know, I actually don't make the rules about it. Who's making rules now? Well, I don't make the rules when it comes to birthdays, Juice. What happened? Who's who's uh, complaining to the birthday committee? So I got a mess. I even got a direct message saying like, "Hey, on Tuesday it's someone's birthday. Can you give them a shout out?" And I yeah. immediately forgot who it was because it yeah. was a text message or whatever. And yeah. Then, was so, it Mexico? Uh, it it could be Mexico for all I know. I actually don't yeah. know. I think it's their birthday or some such shit. To be honest, I didn't really pay attention. Not really sure. They seem to get mad when you call it Independence Day for them though. No, yeah, they do. They Boy, do they get all fired up about that. They don't love that one. And so No. And so I've been I've been saying like, hey, whose birthday let me know in the chat. You know, we've been going Juice, we've been going here for almost ten minutes and no one has told me who. No one's fessed up. No one has fessed up, but someone did let me know that it is all Chris Brown's right. birthday. And if they don't yep. do it, I have to give it to Chris Brown. We're gonna lock the door. No one gets out. No one gets in until somebody fesses up and we find out whose fucking birthday it is. The if birthday it's Kurt Loder, is in this room. If it's Kurt Loder, uh, it's an honor, sir. It is Kurt. Uh, I, it because is. you are a legend, Kurt Loder. 75 years old, the defining uh, uh, voice of news in my in my life. You know, I was thinking about this today. I was like, because I was trying to be a little hyperbolic on Twitter, saying what? that he no. was better than uh every like news anchor when i was a kid kurt but, loder like, was 
Yeah. Fucking Tom broke up. Apparently, even now, the reason why the NBC News had si- or, uh, resigned was because Tom broke up was a fucking creep. Dan Rather, total shithead. Mm. Like all these Matt people have Lauer revealed themselves. Could Matt never Lauer, make cheese. I mean, dip. let's not even get started with fucking Matt Lauer. Yeah. Uh, get out of here, Matt. We're not talking about you anymore. Who's fucking did great work at in his prime, and to this day continues to watch fucking movies and review them for you <laughs> kurt fucking loader that's who what has kurt Lo- so i i think i was a little too young for kurt loader on mtv uh news what is he uh, what has he been up to since he MTV? writes movie reviews for reason magazine really wow yeah oh my goodness so yeah kurt loader uh at, at the time, I think it was hard to tell whether or not he was putting on a detached air or that was just who he was. But, like, he just had that authoritative, like, uh, uh, he could do the, like, uh, the Beastie Boys will be releasing their next album on Friday. Like, he could do that or he could do the serious, like, you know, Kurt Cobain dead at the age of 27. Like, yeah. that dude was a ledge. An absolute ledge. And especially on, I'm assuming, on, on MTV, where that um, uh, uh, that contrast between him, who someone who can kind of speak about the news and read about the news very authoritatively and very seriously, next yeah. to the burgeoning music video market. Uh, would this have been around the time of Jackass? Like any number of things that MTV yeah. was also this getting is, into. Yeah, which was early Jackass. And, yeah. Yeah. So he, um, I mean, but him and Tabitha Soren, Tabitha Soren, like low key, like that was a fucking amazing, like anchor pairing. Kurt Loder and Tabitha Soren could, mm-hmm. like, it shows you how far we've come of like where we think, like what you need to do. Like it used to be like, you know, in the nineties, there was like this, oh, we want to be like Walter Cronkite. You have to be, the newsman isn't just somebody who gets up and reads the news. No. They are the authoritative voice of God. Yeah. And trustworthy. You have, everyone has re, not even trustworthy, like authoritative. And so you had to move through the ranks of regional gods, all, you know, and then you eventually moved up to national God. Mm-hmm. And so, like, Kurt Loder. I'd love to be a national God one day. One day. One day. Well, now they totally desynchronize God uh, tears. Like, you know, <sighs> they totally overhauled it. And now it's. God is it's nerfed. Like they nerfed God. Fully, yeah, fully distributed God uh, situation. But yeah, Kurt Loder. Yeah. I, I would have loved Kurt Loder and Tabitha Soren could have fucking anchored the nightly news, and I feel like we would have gotten a better job. What was um, who was the, who was the woman who would do Linda Ellerby? Do you remember Linda Ellerby? Fuck yeah, Nick W News? five. Yeah, Linda. Yeah. Li- the, Linda Ellerby. Uh, uh, yeah, she was. Uh, I remember Linda Ellerby. That was the first time that I ever remember anything journalism related. Like the 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 fact that there was a thing that news wasn't just a like people gossiping and whatever. Like this mm-hmm. magical flow of like what a journalist was. But she did either a series or a special called W Five, and that was like who, what, where, when, why. Oh, you know, uh-huh. but it was all about, uh, uh, you know, basic journalistic principles. Interesting. Yeah, I, re- I remember her um, from from Nick News, where they would do, yeah. you know, special time. Like later on when it wasn't like a, a thing that they were doing all the time, it would be like, here's a very special news topic and you need to yeah. know about whatever it was. Um, yeah. I thought it was really cool to try to, or to, to, to do a program like that where you were you know, giving some some news gravitas to a channel explicitly for kids, um, yeah, and under making it very understandable. Because, like, you know, th- growing up and gr- growing up where at the same time as cable news and twenty four hour news, where that was so that became ubiquitous at a point where I feel like that never was not the not the situation. That was never not what news was for me. Yeah. Um, uh, it it's cool that there was there was a way to try to take that stuff and make it approachable. You know, I was talking with someone uh, today or yesterday of like, 
you know, kids, kids just parrot what they hear because a lot of times they don't understand what they hear. They don't know what the war is, but they know dad thinks this about the war. And so that's, uh, that becomes my take on the war or, or any number of things. Um, and, and yeah, it, it's tough to give kids context or to at least to give them a fundamental understanding of, of critical thinking when it comes to, to news and journalism. Yeah. I, and, and I don't know how much of that is people having less or more because everything's been stratted, but everything is free. You know, like the internet, as long as you have the internet, you can go fucking anywhere. You can search anywhere. Your friends can turn you on to things from anywhere in, in, in the world, let alone ideologically. But like, uh, yeah, I mean, in that time, you know, as cable broke the, ex the, the exclusivity ranks of like uh, a network television, uh, that's when it started. And now it's totally shattered. Like there's no... Nobody has a monopoly on, on on the truth anymore, which is fucking wild. Yeah. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the comedy show. Hey, man, we're doing comedy here. Uh, <laughs> it's that, and then somebody slips on a banana peel and fucking Whoop. votes for Nader. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did uh, uh we talked briefly about it during the show, but uh, have you have you partaken in any Taco Tuesday shenanigans? Uh oh. I just said fuck it, dude. Corona. I'm gonna I'm gonna chug a corona. Hopefully nice. that builds immunity. Uh, I, it, I'm gonna take an antibody test. That's right. And it's I alcohol. Feel Do you alcohol feel cleans. bad? Do you feel bad for corona? The fact because apparently their sales are in the shitter. And so I was gonna I was going down to buy Tecate mm -hmm. and I went with Corona because I'm like, well, I mean, they didn't fucking ask for this. Yeah. I I agree. They did not ask for this. And it, you know, it's not even like someone named COVID, like this is the Corona space virus. It's like, that's what it's called. Like there is a science, there science says it's that. And it's not. When like do you think, do you think that, I mean, cause I'm imagining that the people that invented Corona aren't virologists, but at some point find out that, um, that, this kind of illness is called a coronavirus like do you think that the first time they see that their first thought is like not ideal oh yeah oh absolutely absolutely like, like at some point man i i hope it's another kind of virus or whatever but like please it be just, a it just caught virus on. please yeah, be exactly. a milwaukee oh. dude Oh shit! I wonder if at one point they started lobbying, like, like uh, we actually believe that the proper scientific term for this illness is a Michelob virus. <laughs> it's actually the champagne of viruses. Yeah. <laughs> no, they didn't ask for this shit, Corona. They didn't, yeah. and so I haven't had a Corona in a minute. But I figured, fuck it, we'll roll with that. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I think I'm discovering that. The beers that I can, because everyone, we got beer people here in Austin, as you do, and I don't, I don't tend to like beer. It is known that I don't really like beer very much, but yeah. the, the beers that I do like are uh, uh, Coronas and Dos Equis, which I think are lagers. Yeah, um, yeah. And so I, and I think, I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm finding a beer, just Justin. I think really? I'm a beer. So you like a lighter lager? Right. Like I even have a Land Shark Premium Lager Island on the island style. You know who uh, whose beer that is? This. Uh, oh my God! I just saw Margaritaville. Is this James yep. Buffett's? <gasps> this is James Buffett's. Oh my God! Cheeseburger it's, in Paradise. It's solid. Hey, it's solid. Yeah, no, Land Shark will fuck you up, man. You've uh, like that's a that's a good boat beer. Right? I think boat I've mostly beer. seen Land Sharks. That's a boat. That's a boat and ass beer in South Florida. I'm trying to find the percent. You can never find percentages on alcohol anymore, and I feel like that's bad. No, that's oh, the thing. So is you small. fuck around. Four point six. It's the tiniest little thing in white, in the smallest version of the smallest font on here. Yeah, well, that's because he's a tiny little alcohol percentage, you know, four point, you know, that's <laughs> a just a little guy. more than that. You know? Oh, yeah. No, you can. That's why it's like a good that's a good all day beer. 
You know, that's yeah. what that's why light beer was invented. You get, a, you get a nice thirty six people... pack of that. Throw it on the schooner, <laughs> dude. You fucking pulling the mizzen mast with a with a couple fucking uh, twelve or that in your gullet, and you're fucking having a good time. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, fuck. Uh, so we are at a uh, what week two, week one, week two of you having your these the in ear monitors, the yeah M E E brand monitors. How are you liking them? Are you digging them? Yeah, no, I think it's it's good. You know, it, it really I'm wearing them because I want to set a good example. We were talking earlier today about uh, how uh, uh, the, the argument for the United States uh, not using plastic is mm. so the rest of the world will. Um, to set a good I'm example. wearing these so Brian will wear his mm. because like I'm I was fine wearing the over the ear things, but I know that that. Brian will look at that and see mm, Justin wears those I don't want to look like a guy with over the ear things yeah. but if I'm wearing these then he'll be like alright well s somebody else is wearing them I guess I got it, especially if I bitch about the fact that the audio slaps back which it does yeah. So uh, and it's, it's a serious concern you know we don't have the Skype special sauce anymore yeah. and it's, it's one thing when you know you hear yourself direct from your board and it's basically real time but um, when you put any sort of delay on that, like it, 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 it's, it gets fucking weird, you know? So it does, it does. And that's, and that's the thing is like, as long as we're in a position where we are now, where like the audio is going back and forth and, uh, I'm not hearing myself back. That's fucking perfect. I mean, this is the yeah. best version of this show. Technically we have ever fucking done. Yeah, well, I guess so. I mean, outside of the times you guys have been in the same space. Oh yeah. Oh sure, yeah, but that's cheating. You know. And we we that's hate cheating. cheating. We do hate cheat cheating. Cheating is no well. Oh, no big time. That's ever. that's the number one night attack rule. Don't cheat. Um, um uh, there's one over here. If you Uh-huh. Yeah. If she wants them, they're over here. Uh, that's the voice of uh, the incoming Brian Brushwood, who will be here in just a moment. He's got to hit his button. Uh, so. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. hey. What's up? Oh, man. So um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to save it, but uh, I have a feeling. Um, uh, don't my, put my prediction. I, I'm not going to put my prediction in an envelope. You guys will have to hold it for me. Uh, I'm going to guess that before we could talk about anything else, Bonnie's going to talk about her... Uh, insecurity about um uh the content that she recorded oh no for bryce to uh edit and uh <laughs> and how she can't understand how a poor human has to watch all of that oh no it'll be fine oh, man. man uh i i actually i owe bryce a call because i don't know how openly we can talk about the project that you're referring to live but like uh Oh no! Uh, this is just uh, something for this her is a Bonnie specific yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, a Bonnie specific. Okay, yeah. this isn't the stuff that you were talking no. about. He told me about that Sunday. off gotcha. the air. Right, right. We are all legally aware of where we can and cannot talk about that. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but all right, then then I will just uh, tie a bow around that and say the stuff that you guys shot over the weekend. I would love to talk to Bryce about because I'm curious uh, to see how it. Oh yeah, out. that oh, stuff that too. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, we can talk about yeah. that off the air too. Off the air, but. Uh, uh, so wait, so what did Bonnie record specific to Bonnie? So she's doing like a, a lecture. They, they do some sort of lecture Zoom hangout series. And so I believe she recorded. She was pre-recording a lot of her her version of that. Yeah, nor normally she's supposed to give a live lecture. Um, but uh, but there's a lot of sculpting. And it's a tied to her art. And so I think she is interested in trimming it down. Oh, yeah. No, uh, she's. It, it's going to be an awesome flex. Like in an age where everybody is using their 10-year-old shitty webcam for a two hour unedited video or whatever yeah. bonnie recorded three hours with a gopro and like a fucking legit ass yeah, <laughs> production look, camera it's and it plus nice. you know she's got she's got she's gonna have super bryce powers to kind of tighten everything mm. yeah uh, but but it's hard there's a reason i have a lot of shows with co-hosts justin because it's hard to do a one. This is why. This is why I consider you the double black diamond skier of the two of us by doing a one mic show. <laughs> uh, so imagine if Bonnie, 
you know, who's getting comfortable skiing with us, suddenly was thrown to the double black diamond, <laughs> alone in a warehouse, and uh, having it's, to teach. That's hard, man. It is like, uh, uh, because the biggest thing that it's like riding a bike. The biggest uh, trick to it is realizing you can do it. Yeah, and and, and, and not letting the panic sabotage you, like, because there's a point in which your brain goes like, well, that's it. <laughs> All the things you had to talk about are out of your brain. So shut it down. And <laughs> and you have to basically just turn turn that part of your brain off because you, you, you realize you, it's your fucking brain. There's no limit to the amount of things that you can talk about. And, and you're, you're right, because that content really does get better when you shut off the part of your brain that is any kind of limiter. I think that's part of why happy hours have been so good, because unlike... You know, unlike Night Attack, which, you know, is that 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 super high risk, you know, where we have to be and thinking about, about, about all of the different uh, plates that are spinning, um, like we can never not be thinking about every single spinning plate. The stakes on happy hour are low enough that it's like, like that's the agreed upon, like it's a bunny slope. We all agree it's going to be a bunny slope. Yeah. We're just going to have a good time and not really worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, and... Uh, uh... I, I I'm 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 always glad to exercise that muscle that let's just fucking talk and be relaxed because I do think at times like there can be a, a a seductive trap of letting yourself fall into the like think too hard mm -hmm. stuff and for the stuff that we do it's like uh you know you need to be aware but the harder you're pressing for it in general like you're not gonna get there you know like like comedy is about being in the moment. Yeah, well, and, and also, I guess the other flip side of that is there's a um, uh, a whirlpool, uh, I don't know, you, you could get caught up in the perfectionism before you even press record of like, uh, yeah. well, well, let me just let me just prep a little bit more. Let me let me just plan for this and that and the other thing. And then, you know, spoiler alert, nothing gets done. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's that's the siren, uh, the, the call to the rocks of, of every creative endeavor, right? Is uh, a plan so hard it never happens. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me. Uh, yeah. Hey, how's how's the, the, the internet treating us today? Pretty good so far. Oh, I should not have brought it up. <laughs> that, Shouldn't. That, that was the voice of, of thanks for the jinx, boss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're looking, you're still looking pretty good right now. Cool. So. No, yeah, we made it through um, happy hour. Happy hour, good. And um, bizarre briefing also went very well. So I yeah, periodically uh, it does a thing where it'll still fuzz out for me on Skype, but I keep my little safety monitor uh, up of the of the broadcast, and that like it fuzzed that a little bit for me during the happy hour over Skype. But like I was checking the broadcast and it looked HD as fuck. So yeah. Yeah. So the uh, there were two things that uh, that we found out since yesterday. Um, we did have to like like I mean it was a you know we cratered during happy hour and then uh, and then we had to plow through on cord killers and and the the real bummer is happy hour ended and there's not enough time to even call spectrum between the two you know so it's yeah. just like well buckle up it's gonna be a rocky ride more turbulence. So we got through cord killers and I was I was just so bummed and um, uh, called uh, Spectrum business class uh, of the two Ooh. Spectrum accounts that we have. Yeah. Um, and they they made very different noises. Uh, dude said, let me check some things, bleep, blah, bloop. And he said, um, uh, he said, of those seven boxes that we installed, uh, something was configured expecting to see box number four there. Uh, and and I was oh. like, yeah, well, it's not attached because we don't have a phone line, and we're not. There's only two things attached: the router, and that's and and I, or sorry, the modem and our router. And so yeah. and so he and I don't know. I would love it. I would love it if there's a tech person that could tell me if this is a real thing or not. He said he reconfigured it. Uh, he said something was expecting the modem router to be in the mix and was looking for it and was not finding it and that was messing stuff up. So he threw everything over to just the router router. Uh, or, again, modem modem, it's not really a modem. Yeah. Uh, but then the uh, uh, the other thing he said was, I set it up for a full week of hardware monitoring, which m leads me to believe that, my guess is they don't have this for the residential customers, but no. he certainly made noises as though if you're a business customer, 
uh, we will set up an automated process to peek in and make sure everything's hunky dory for working a week. fine. Yeah, which was good. Which was a thing I had never heard anyone at Spectrum or Time Warner before it say. So, uh, so that gave me hope. And then during that same time, uh, there was some casual, uh, 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 you know, file management chit chat that uh, Brant was casually. Um, uh, 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 he was like, "Ugh, this footage. It's gonna take 20 hours to transfer." And I'm like, "From the disc station?" He's like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "From the disc station here at the property?" And so uh, this morning, I wrote Brant saying, "How fast are the files downloading from the disc station here at the property?" And he was like, "Ugh, super slow, like two to three MBs." And I was like. Capital B? Because he wrote a capital B. He's like, yeah, capital B, megabytes per second. And I'm like, that's 16 to 24 megabits per second. And that's what you begin. How long was it going? He's like, took 20 hours. <laughs> and I was just like, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> so I. Uh, there's, there's still timeline issues with that theory. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. But... I, mean, I mean, there's absolutely something broke on Spectrum's end because, because even when we take all of the routers and everything out of it, uh, when it's just one computer hooked up to the modem directly connected, we've had we've had drops down to sub five megabits. So so because even yeah. so even with uh... we're not out of the woods, but if there's even one little gravitational body I can eliminate from the equation, <laughs> and uh, 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 you know I think for. Us, because we've done, we, you know, we we had the the other disk station that we have, which, which is connected to fiber. If I'm, yeah, put a question mark. Correct, correct, yeah. Always got the same bad or very slow. Oh, connection. that's interesting. And so I don't think it's been, uh, uh, it I don't, it didn't raise any eyebrows that we had a bad connection to disk station the entirety of the time that we've been here. At oh HK. no 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 no, that's my whole point. Is he had a very good connection to our disk station. Uh, uh, 16 to 24 megabytes megabits is two thirds of our entire upstream bandwidth. Sure. And that's what he was getting for 20 hours yesterday on the day that we had trouble uploading on our upstream. So, so, sure. so, so, uh, uh, what, like the hope is that, that by, uh, you know, just eliminating, uh, one, one, you know, spin factor or whatever, uh, yeah. like, because, because, uh, uh, Brant was definitely under the impression that that the the you know two to three megabytes the sixteen to twenty four megabits was out of a thousand upstream, and so you know it's like well maybe how's this gonna affect anything? Oh uh, wow! He, he didn't even okay. know that that we're on a different internet system over here uh, that that has considerable constraints yeah. on the upstream bandwidth. Uh, well, yeah. you know. Uh, if if that best practices uh, can just get us a more consistent signal, then fuck well, it. And, and again, it's awesome. like we we got. I mean, there's there's a there's a million confounding factors, and I'm just very pleased that theoretically overnight we might have eliminated two. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And no, this is not. Brant's not hogging it. No, Everyone, no, no. Don't don't we'll even talk that way. That's yeah. no. Um, stop it. Don't talk that way. <laughs> Uh, Knock is, it off. Is anything else happening? Anything else happening in the world today? Uh, uh, the How much does the tech talk stress you out, Bryce, on a scale from 1 to 10? 3. 3 a little Bullshit. bit. Bullshit. 13. That's what it is. <laughs> you no, immediately is... fucking shut it down. As soon as <laughs> no. we talk about it, you immediately shut it down. No, if, if part I was, was going like... to guess that it, it, he's more concerned about the perception that, that we're pinning that's... anything on Brant, which which I think is, that... is a valid. Oh, that's okay. part that, of that's the, that's the new thing. But also, like, well, and I understand because, Bryce, you, you are now... Uh, the the latest person behind the keyboard that has had to deal with stuff like this like that brian and i have both done in the past like and i know you've you've uh, dealt with your own stuff it's like it's hard especially when there's an audience and mm -hmm. there's a chat and there's like you know you are always this close to the worst thing that ever happens on the internet <laughs> tech support <laughs> via chat room well and so it's 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 kind of a hybrid of some of that stuff of like are we are we? I, I, granted, I'm here, and so I hear it every time Brian is telling it to someone. So I was like, yeah. all right, 
are we talking about it too much? Are we obsessing over it? But also, this is the pre-show. We're supposed to be warming up and getting funny. And yeah. if we spend all the time talking about tech, is that, is that, I don't know. So I, I uh, and then, because at least with the internet stuff, like, I have been able to compartmentalize that in, like, very few people, the, 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 People in this building who can do anything have no options anyway about it. Yeah. Uh, so I, I can compartmentalize that. But I just want it to be, I don't want it to always be tech. Oh, I, tech Brian, issues. have you tried coming in the router? <laughs> I, I get, I see. <laughs> and I, we're, I get, now we're back. Now we're back. Yeah, just try go. to shoot a bunch of cum in the router and see if it, <laughs> if it gets the, the routing tighter. The, 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 the what is it? The sea, the sea man's. Speed yeah, exactly. the data for just it. fucking jizz in there, and then <laughs> I hold the world record for fixing the most internet connections <laughs> no! by ejaculating into the Ethernet port. <laughs> the sea man. <laughs> the sea man. The Bible says it is a sin, but I point out there is no soil in this Ethernet port. Shove it, Onan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got that. <laughs> Brian, you want to know what I watched on Saturday? What? <laughs> what? Game on. Oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> uh, Classic. We were, yeah. Uh, which which uh, it one? Was the first episode because uh I was uh, uh there was a big thing about Tiki Bar TV, so we we're watching a bunch of like this arts uh uh stuff, and then like I came to this realization, it's like, oh my god, like fucking Game on was so long ago. Like for for many people, like we are. That's part of their version of. Oh my God, have you seen this web stuff that existed? Uh, and so I'm like, I wonder how it holds up compared to Tiki Bar. Turns out Tiki Bar fucking holds up. Uh, game on. You know, could have used another fucking polish. But, uh, <laughs> we uh, we we. I think. I, I'm pretty sure we finished it. I'd have to go back because I had a doc keeping track of it. But uh, one of the things we were doing when we were doing the rewinds every week is we would try yeah. to watch an episode of Game On every other time or so. So it wasn't because we would only. Uh, when, when you say could have used a polish, I mean, I mean, obviously we were hand to mouth on everything. Uh, oh yeah. On that. Um, but but the. Uh, 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 but you get polish over time. Gr like I like that was some of the early days of us. Like I remember editing shit myself for Game On, <laughs> which, oh which sort God. of contextualizes yeah. just how far back it goes. Also, like I remember being super pumped because I was getting paid three digits. <laughs> it was definitely three digits. <laughs> Barely. It might have been. Do you remember what it was? I don't remember what it was. I think you got four hundred. I got four. Episode, right, the entire. I got episode. four an episode. Yeah, yeah. Jiminy. Uh, I'll tell you what, I was thrilled when I got that $400 an episode, and then I looked at how much I fucking wrote on that show, and it's like, if, if they still, it was Veronica, an hour long, right? They would yes. still do an hour long oh, program. It was a fucking hour, okay. and it was, if Brian and Veronica were not giving just an honest, off-the-cuff opinion about video games or interviewing somebody, I wrote it. Like it was, I I didn't realize watching back. I'm like, oh Jesus, I was fucking, and I was like, ha ha, stealing money. All they all I have to do is write 17 segments, and they give me four hundred dollars. The fools. Uh, I commuted back and forth from Austin, Texas, to Petaluma, California, to do a video oh, yeah. podcast. To one do video podcast. An hour to do one hour long video podcast for eight hundred dollars per episode. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, dude. Uh, uh, that no, was the that only, was four the days only... of my week. I mean, just just the travel alone. I mean, oh, wait, really? Because yeah. it would it, it wouldn't be same day. Well, no. Oh, goodness, right. goodness Christ, no. Uh, no, 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 not because I just I remember yeah. it was filmed in the evening, so I wasn't sure. Maybe it was a like no. Two it was, days. It was filmed day. Sunday night, and so part of that. Uh, by the way, that also included uh, a reason for me to come out on a Saturday. Uh, so that I could be there and do uh, actually I would usually come in uh, I would oftentimes tie it with the scam school but I would usually come in on a Friday night so that we could do work we could do the write the episode and create the props and and all that stuff on a Saturday oh. and then Sundays during the day I would do twit and then and then roll straight into uh, game on yeah. afterwards so I mean it was really essentially essentially it was uh, three nights two days 
<laughs> every week for uh, for eight hundo. Good. Which yeah. which again, to to be clear, I'm very thankful for. It was a fantastic opportunity, and and they'll be. I mean, looking back on it, I mean, it's like. Uh, could we have dared hope for anything like that to show up and, and to give us that level of attention and to give us to to raise us above our stations? I'd never worked as a host in front of a teleprompter on a real set or any of that shit. I mean, you know, we it, both of us were extraordinarily thankful for whatever money there was. But looking back on it. Oh boy, them hours though. <laughs> that was a lot of oh hours. Oh my god, dude, yeah. And that was that was the thing. Watching back, I'm like, man, there was a lot of work. To be honest, I, you know, I don't, I don't know how much he's wanted to talk about it, but I know how much effort Chad put into it, and I think oh that was that that experience was when Chad realized, hey, how much do I need everybody else here? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> because like. I know how much time and effort I'm putting into editing other people's shit to get it to a certain quality. Man. I know that I can just spend all this time editing my own shit and I could probably make it look a lot better. And he fucking did. And he's made a career out of it. But uh, no, the, the big thing that I looked back at and I almost actually just out of uh, uh, frustration and because I'm a sociopath rewrote it or re like re-edited it is the Max Trollbot bit. Oh, oh yeah. really? Right. Well, but before we go into that, quick question from the chat: How long were the shoots for Game On? Uh, the shoots themselves were live to tape. They were essentially live. There yeah. was maybe yeah. a little nip and tuck. However, the commitment for the four and a half hours of 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 bet based gaming oh, that, that that's happened right. Shut afterwards up and uh, that, that 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 one Brian Brushwood hung around for uh, while uh, uh, everyone else went home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they yeah throw that on the uh on the burn pile of uh well that was free you know once you once you uh once you worked for that 800 you know that's <laughs> yeah that's I a, mean, you, that's you a toss that shit what in more gratis. relaxing way to spend the rest of your day than to four yeah. hours of competitive bet based hair cutting gaming oh god that's right the spike the spike that they cut off yeah shaving shit into other people's heads and stuff um so uh the max trollbot bit yeah, uh, so uh, what, watch what? the Max Trollbot bit back. Uh, number one, in fucking sane that we did that where I was live, like, over Skype while, was it Tilton that yep. was in the... Tilton was inside. Tilton? You could actually see the POV from inside the robot. Yes, we had because John we put Tilton the fucking camera. In C-3PO. We put an iPhone with a live Skype connection and a camera out lined up taped on the inside so that Justin is Skyped in providing the voice for Max Trollbot live in the moment while watching Max Trollbot's POV from the acting of Tilted. Well, and also scripted, right? Still scripted. Could have pre-recorded every single line, huh? Could have, could have, yeah. So this is this is what it it was. You take your phone and you put it in there. <laughs> yep. Oh, it was in there, not in the eye. Oh my no, god. No, it phones, was were phones were smaller. Phones were smaller then, then so <laughs> you could actually fit it in there. Uh, but you, uh, that's where when he when he's coming out, you can see the POV, and that's why. Oh. Uh, but I was on my either in my room or on my fucking porch in Florida on Skype uh, doing the Max Trollbot voice, which is why all the jokes are like fucking two seconds later than they should have been. And it's like, if there was ever a fucking segment, we should have pre-shot. Yeah. Pre-shot. Although that being said, the other thing that sucked was that we never had a chance to pre-shoot anything with Brian and Veronica because... Uh, take that back. Take that back. Um, well, both well, of you well, together? Hold on, hold on, hold yes. on, hold on, hold on. Let me we finish. Oh. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, on the set, in the way that oh. if we, we couldn't... The way that, the way that like, we would have liked to have done it is you guys are still in your same clothes. This is This looks like it's live, but now... Max Trollbot comes yeah. out and you realize with some funny like zoom ins or like crazy effects that it's recorded, but we never were able to do that because they shot twit beforehand. And there was this big commitment to doing like, Hey, we got to roll right from twit 
into game on as as fast as possible to hold on because to we want to maintain that live viewership uh, uh, that was there. And it's like you look back now and you're like, who the fuck cares about the live viewership? Like, you I know, mean, we, I do. We, That's part of the reason we're doing the happy hour because it, it it's been a lot of fun to to see our numbers double on Twitch. Uh, so, yes. so I can understand that impulse, whether or not. It's wise 10 years after the fact. I yes, know it feels that's, good that's, right now. That's, that's all. Yeah, that's what I'm looking back on and saying like. Because happy hour right. is low is a low investment. Like that's well, just, and, uh, you know. And also, all right. So we're paying Veronica, like Veronica money. We're paying Brian 800 and it's taking four days out of his week. We're, you look back at the guests we booked. The guests we booked were really fucking good. Yeah. Uh, Like we actually, like it was a thing. And then you think like, oh, okay, well, why can't we pre-shoot this? Oh, because we want to make sure that there's another hundred people in the chat room. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, it would have been maybe you're right, you're right, if because I mean, the differential between people who would have hung around two more hours is really maybe two hundred people. Yeah. Like, like we're, we'll go from a thousand down to eight hundred or seven fifty or whatever, which felt like all the people in the world at the time, but. But truthfully, I can understand your point. And yeah, they, you know, like with with Twitch, where where they have like push notifications and stuff. Like, I don't believe Twitch had or Twit had anything like that. You know, like a like, hey, stuff is starting now. Please come in. Like, they were very, you know, they were really focused on the schedule because a well, they were doing a million things, and also, B, also because that's what set them apart from everyone else is is that they were able to maintain the juggling act of like it's all happening right now live. Uh, you know that was the the angle is the the cnn of tech yeah yeah and that's and that's the thing is that it's like man if some of that stuff we could have pre-recorded beforehand like if like that would be like our our uh uh you know the the, the second conan o'brien sketch of the night where like a, a crazy thing happens it would have been a different story that being said man it was fucking uh uh there are some of that where I was like, fuck, man, that really was kind of ahead of its time. Uh, uh, it was oh, always doomed we, to fail because of it, uh, how, how expensive it was. We, and also the fucking you were flying. The we should uh, we should point out that as much as, you know, we're we're marveling at how much time we put in for what we were paid. Uh, let it officially be said on the record that when I wrap my mind around spending that kind of money, uh, where we are now, ten years down the road, a as the investor in that, holy fucking shit, that was an expensive show. That was an insanely expensive oh, show, and, and it's like that was such yeah. a brave and bold uh, called shot to 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 attempt. And and uh, uh, man, I am I ever endlessly thankful for everything about all of that, yeah. and happy to do all of it. And and oh because, my god, mm -hmm. yeah, because at the time, right, like. There was still not I, – I feel like if you said, hey, there's a chance a video podcast of this length, of this type, will will run neck and neck with an audio podcast. And it can be both of those things at once, uh, and, and that can expand over time. Like, I don't think that's – it's a little it's a little left field for probably when it was now compared to today where you would never think of spending that much money on – that type of show for that length in the way that it was distributed. But you look back and you go, that's not crazy. I mean, there, it, it, it so, somehow, well, it's ever, somehow video gaming was not hyper saturated to that point. It was still expensive to do video stuff and you had a chance to try it and try, to try to be something uh, big. So it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, Bryce. Hi. Is there not a today thing and it's going to sound like this is a passive aggressive way to say a today thing but in secret but i really okay. i really don't mean this this is this is this is what i love is all of the pre pre build up to stuff that to, to questions i get now <laughs> okay Th this this is this is this is tech questioning brian okay um uh we've been putting on powder or whatever but but why is it i look so shiny here uh well is 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 it because of the just the the lights are more pinpointy and we don't have enough fill or so part of it is that the light to your direct left is not on a diffuser which we use to kind of uh give you that kind of harsher light yeah uh, also because i'm genuinely shiny a part of it is that you might be shiny i don't know if you've put on any powder no, today I'm at not. all 
I've been um, sweating. So that that's probably a function. I know I had to kind of dab before I got started here, and I have two diffuse lights. Dab on your me. haters. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, we can. So the problem with going to soft, we were doing, we were trying to do the the, dis, the diffuse, but but, the, but then it hits all that back it, there. Right, it's not directional enough to keep. Yeah, it off I think I'd back. rather have kind of the 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 more stark lighting and okay. and just put on some powder. We do have some time if you'd like to do. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll I'll just go dab. Can't pay you eight hundred dollars to fly yeah, out yeah, to California to put damn. the makeup on, but <laughs> it's a tight ship, run a tight ship. <laughs> oh, you know, Justin. Um, What's up? Someone uh, someone sent me a, a really good idea that I did not respond to on Discord because that is how I function. I think it was Bad Weave. Um, who you know we haven't done the night attack rewind in in a while in 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 a, in a minute in we haven't did it in a minute yeah. um uh but uh i think it was bad we've suggested uh bringing back a rewind of like a very special rewind of like live night attacks and uh you know like oh hey here's us live from dragon con here's live at San Francisco. oh yeah 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 um, and so uh, we'll figure out a, it, it would be cool to have you guys in the chat for for that and you know block sure up a few yeah hours. no you want to know what um i think it was mitzi that put up on twitter today a bunch of stuff from one of the nerdtaculars uh like tw like photos or stuff i i don't know that i saw no that. no no it was a couple clips Oh, it was one clip where uh, we were doing the pizza intro and we just had like uh, uh, the whole crowd doing the like pizza like mm -hmm. uh, and then another one where we played one of the Captain Morgan tracks. But uh, Belmont was Captain Morgan. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 oh, yeah. the pizza one is really it's worth watching if we can pull this up. That's like a fucking soccer crowd. Oh, fucking amazing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so good. God, oh. we're never going to do a live show again. This oh, is absolutely. fucking so depressing. Oh, but... Uh, it, it, the in terms of doing a, a rewind, I'll 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 hit you guys up and maybe we'll find find a day to do it for for a little while and just hang out and it's not like we don't do it like um like Mystery Science Theater or anything. We no, do no, it no, just no, in no. Yeah, chat. I mean we can figure something out. But yeah. uh, uh, that live shows were always so weird because I never really knew whether or not because live shows I know for me as a consumer I never really know I I more often than not mm -hmm. unless it's a show that's always live like Harmontown and they eventually like that becomes the show. It becomes part of why you like it. Uh, live shows are almost always like, yeah, what is it going to be? What is it gonna be? For sure. Uh, so yeah, I don't know that, I, that uh, uh, to bad weave who sent that to me, that is a good idea. And we might try to do that. Yeah. But I always thought that ours were pretty good. I yeah. always thought that, that uh, they didn't get too, too sideways. Well, I mean, yeah, more or less. I mean, except for, except for some very recent examples. A very, we have a very strong batting average. Very strong batting average, and boy, we're looking to come off the schneid. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and I think I think the the it'd be fun, especially to do the you know night attack or NSFW lives because I'm sure there are plenty of stories of around the event, not just what is actually going on in the middle of the show. You know, like, oh, we yeah, kind of took, oh, we had totally. to set up, oh, this thing didn't work, this thing worked, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah. Um, Sunbun, it's it's whenever we need a bonus episode, whenever we need an episode, if we ever need to skip a week, yeah, we'll, uh, figure, it yeah, we'll figure it out, which means I'm never going to fucking <laughs> skip a week. Uh, Brian, we were talking about uh, possibly doing a special, a very special Night Attack Rewind uh, watching... Um, uh, old uh, live uh, live shows, old live event episodes. Oh, that'd be fun. And and getting you guys in the chat and, and joining everyone for that. Man, um, at least for a little bit. I'm I'm down for it, uh -oh. but it's hard for me to watch anything that I've done in really? the past. Um, I mean, it's uh -huh. 
part of the re if if there's anything good about and you know this because you've edited and you get notes all of my edit notes come from me hate watching the footage i'm like would you shut the fuck up and i'm and and that comes out as uh can we trim down from 05 <laughs> to 010 <laughs> yeah. it seems like i kind of go on a tangent and i'm like jesus christ would you can, can you even what do you even do like like it's very difficult for me but but mm. i'm i'm down for it <laughs> if, if we can you know if Whatever we can we can make it work, but it would it would just be in the chat room, and uh, so it's totally your. But you can you absolutely can play Hearthstone at the that's, same time. Oh God damn it! I was gonna say that's Bryce code for you can play Hearthstone. <laughs> hey, by uh, the right, way, let me grab a let me grab a freshie and then yeah, okay. go for it. What's up, dude? Uh, oh, I was gonna do Hearthstone talk, <laughs> but, but but he's he's yeah. I'm talk. welcome. I am hey, I am open. Here's an improv game. I am open. I am a Hearthstone expert, Bryce Neshcom Castillo. What's up? What deck right. you rock? All what right. deck you rocking, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I know you're right. <laughs> Welcome to, to Nesha Notes. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, let, let me turn down the AC real quick. Just one okay. more degree. Mm. Sure, sure, sure. You know, if I, you know, if this was a Hearthstone, I would simply play my cold card. I would simply place, I would tap one of my cold cards. And, uh, you know, really, that has a, that has an area of effect of the entire play field. And that All really right, here's what down. I was going to say. Okay. So uh, in the old ladder, because they, they just debuted a new ladder this past month. That's right, bro. In, titanium! Uh, in, in the old ladder, uh, if you hit legend, then when everything reset, it would knock you to uh, so-called dad legend, which is rank five. And you can't go down from rank five. Um, in the new thing, now there's... There's six different tiers <laughs> before oh. you hit legend. There's, yeah. you know, a, a, a bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and mithril. The, the fact that I can't remember them is probably an indication that it's not the best decision they ever made. But but you end up on diamond. Uh, but uh, I played all this month, and today I got to diamond five, and which is locked in at five. You can't go below five. Yeah. And I was like, did I just play all this time just to get to dad legend again <laughs> what, well, what used to be the default place that you that you ended up so they don't give you a boost at the end of the month they don't they don't say hey good 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 effort next month here we're just gonna we're gonna pull position you up well so here's here's why it's different so the realization i had is wait i used to get this for free now i had to work my way up uh, i had to play the game that i like Correct. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I totally feel like that. <laughs> but but what, uh, the difference is is that Dead Legend is closer to Real Legend now oh. because it used to be it's five stars per rank for you know one two three four five levels mm -hmm. and then finally you get to Legend where now it's only three stars per rank. Okay. Uh, so so what they've done is they've made the course to get to Dad Legend much much longer. But if you've hit Legend. It's pretty awesome. When they start you, they start you at the very lowest part of the ladder, the 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 like bronze chicken, mm -hmm. and uh, and you get like a nine x star multiplier. Wow! And then when you win three oh, in that's, a row, that's where you are playing basically on, like on a uh, hall of fame. You're not even. It's not laddered. It's literally your rank in your area or whatever yes right? yeah yeah so so uh and not only that but if you start winning three in a row it starts doing a 2x on there so it's like you could get you could get if 18x you, stars uh, or points yeah, i you, guess you start getting like you know 16 stars at a time and yeah all i knew all that yeah i knew that i'm an expert <laughs> with that uh <laughs> justin what you missed was me realizing that uh today i hit dad legend and i was like wait didn't it used to be that if you hit legend you just automatically started off at dad legend did i just play all this month just to get back to dad legend. But then I realized that dad legend is much, much closer to real legend than it yes. used to be. Cause yeah. there's only 15 stars instead of 25 stars. But yeah, they it. just need to make sure that you don't blow. Like, so, so you're just like, yeah, look, just win fucking 10 games yeah. and you'll be right back to like, knocking on the door of legend also also curtis Larock shines a spotlight on my privilege right now by saying it's been five days it's cinco de <laughs> so mayo is, Brian. yeah it is it's day five. five fucking days so yeah. like here's here's my question and this is a rhetorical question because i know the answer but uh when it comes to legend when it comes to hitting that rank and all um i i forgot my entire thing I had a whole thing. I had a whole thing. Was uh, it? I, 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 what is, what's, uh, 
Nothing. You got this. You got this. No, no, no. When it comes to here's the the thing. When it comes to okay, I got it. So when the thing (laughs) comes to hey, wait, Bryce, Bryce. Yeah. What were you thinking? So the thing I was thinking. Okay. So the thing about legend. (laughs) You got it. Yeah. You got it, man. I know it. It's coming. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Bryce. Okay. So so you're at Dead Legend, right? Is this a World of Warcraft thing where it's like. Once, like, you can get to 1 through 60 in a week, but then it'll take you another week to get to 61. Yes, that's exactly what it is, where where it's like— uh, Figured it uh, out, and that was rhetorical. I knew the answer. Yep, no, in, 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 in like, the, what, four, four years I'd been playing or whatever, like, yeah. uh, I, I think I hit rank 5, so-called dad legend, four or five times before uh, I ever— four or five times before I hit legend and a couple of those, like I got all the way, like within kissing distance of legend. And then, and then it just didn't happen. That's a, that's a fairly common tale is that the, once you cross that threshold, uh, like, like there's no half pat paying Like there's no media on, and you certainly don't play on your phone without the assistance of knowing exactly how many cards are left in your deck and all that stuff. Oh, wow. Having said that, I played on my phone and got to rank one. No. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's I got to, Yeah, I got to rank one one star, and I thought, like, fuck, this is what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to fucking get a legend on my phone. I'm not going to go on the fucking computer. I'm going to fucking be like, I'm Mr. Phone Legend. And then I fucking, like, got back down to five, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm on the computer. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, I'm fucking streaming this. We're doing it for real. Right now, right now. And then, like, I spent an hour and a half trading stars back and forth between, like, fucking like rank three one star rank five like it's just <laughs> well and and, and, it, and it runs you down and in all those tiny ways that you don't consciously recognize you you just get sloppy and tilted like like i i truly understand the getting tilted thing mm-hmm. uh that's a the the poker term of like when you, you oh, just, a, oh I, th- I thought this was code for drinking uh, well, that, no. you know what? <laughs> I got sloppy and tilted. I played some cards. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, like in poker, it's like you, uh, when when your emotions worm their way into your decision making, oh. and you want to increase your bets irrationally to cover your losses, and that's called getting tilted, and you fall off real fast. And oh. uh, what's funny is I I don't really experience that with Hearthstone, but I do in ping pong against against Corey. So you've been playing ping pong a lot since i mean you got a table so you know yeah you're gonna gonna own it use it uh how how is is, is, how's that going it sounds i mean you're saying you're getting tilted it's i i get tilted because um Corey was like an all-state sports guy and i think we talked about this uh on the happy hour but but he he knows real sports so he's watching youtube videos and learning back spins front spins or whatever and i've never tried to learn any kind of top spin nothing or whatever and it's so embarrassing to like be ahead and then three times just whiff a serve and knock the ball crazy, you know, because you're trying to learn how to do a proper top or bottom spin. Yeah. And so and so all of a sudden, you know, I just get crushed. And uh, Corey's Corey's a fan of the friendly smack talk back and forth. With he lo- he's Corey's fun, a jokester. He's with, a lo- he's a fun loving, good real jokester. funny until until you're in your own head and then it's just like <laughs> fucking just go. Just fucking serve the ball. That's how they Let's do go. it. <laughs> That's how they do it. They don't play around with sports in Oklahoma. Uh, no, I believe that. I believe that. That's but uh, but man, ping pong is great. It's uh, you get that ecstasy of flow state where you're completely lost, and it happens so fast. Uh, that's what I loved about squash as well, where it's like you decide how you're gonna play, but then really weirdly you're just watching yourself do it because it's happening so fast, and it's like you you hit these shots, and then you're like. How how did how did that guy do that? And that guy is you. It's it's really wild. It's it's yeah. very fast. I like it. Very cool. Sports or high Sports. lie. High lie is the world's fastest game. Uh. All right. Uh, is Bonnie gonna join us? Uh, she said she would, and I think she needs it. But the kids were were being fussy, so she may join a little bit late. I say we ju- go ahead and jump gotcha. in. Okay. Well then, uh, everybody good? Us? I can start the show. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let me hit some buttons here. Let me hit some buttons here. Let me hit some buttons here. <laughs> Let me hit some buttons here. Okay. Here we go. Mm. 